I'm Manindra, a cloud support engineer here at the AWS office in Dallas. Today, I'm going to show you how to terminate and rebuild my Elastic Beanstalk environment at a scheduled time using CloudWatch rules and Lambda functions. Let me walk you through the process. After logging into the AWS management console, navigate to the Elastic Beanstalk console. I have an Elastic Beanstalk environment and I want to terminate this environment at 6 p.m. every day and then launch it again at 8 a.m. the next day. In this video, I'll use AWS command line interface to create all the required AWS resources. Let's start by creating an AWS identity and access management role that will be used by Lambda functions to terminate and launch the Elastic Beanstalk environment. Copy the trust policy from the Knowledge Center article associated with this video. Then create a file say lambda.json using the copied content. Run the following create role AWS CLI command from the Knowledge Center article to create an IAM role. Run the following command to attach AWS Elastic Beanstalk full access managed policy to the IAM role created in the previous step. Now let's create Lambda functions, one for terminating the Elastic Beanstalk environment and one for rebuilding the environment. Create a Python file with name start elastic beanstalk.py. Copy the Python code to restart the Elastic Beanstalk environment from the Knowledge Center article. Replace the environment ID with the ID of the Elastic Beanstalk environment. You can get the environment ID from the Elastic Beanstalk console. Create a zip file by compressing the above created Python file. Name the file start elastic beanstalk.zip. Similarly, create a Python file with name stop elastic beanstalk.py file and then copy the Python code from the Knowledge Center article to terminate the elastic beanstalk environment. Replace the environment ID with the ID of the elastic beanstalk environment. You can get the environment ID from the Elastic Beanstalk console. Create a zip file by compressing the above created Python file. Name the file stop elastic beanstalk.zip. After the zip files are created, run create function AWS CLI command from the Knowledge Center article to create start elastic beanstalk lambda function using start elastic beanstalk.zip file. Make sure to use IAM role on that was created in the previous steps while creating the Lambda function. Similarly, run create function CLI command from the Knowledge Center article to create stop elastic beanstalk Lambda function using stop elastic beanstalk.zip file. Now, we'll create AWS CloudWatch rules to trigger the Lambda functions on a schedule. Run the put rule AWS CLI commands from the Knowledge Center article to create start Lambda function rule which executes at 8 a.m. every day and stop lambda function rule which runs at 6 p.m. every day. Then we will add lambda permissions so that lambda allows CloudWatch rules to trigger lambda functions. To add lambda permissions, run the add permission AWS CLI commands from the Knowledge Center article to add permissions to both lambda functions that were created in previous steps. Make sure to use the CloudWatch rule ARN as the source ARN for this command. The last step is to add the Lambda functions as targets to CloudWatch rules so that whenever the CloudWatch rule executes, it triggers the respective Lambda function. Run the put targets AWS CLI commands from the Knowledge Center article which adds the Lambda function as target to CloudWatch rule. Make sure that you pass the full Lambda function ARN to the put targets AWS CLI command. After the put targets commands run, you can verify if the CloudWatch rules are configured properly by viewing the rules from the CloudWatch console. Now let's go to the AWS CloudWatch console. Select rules and look for start Lambda function rule. Look at the target section to see the start elastic beanstalk Lambda function is listed. Now look at the stop lambda function rule and then check the target section. We can see stop elastic beanstalk lambda function is listed. 
Thanks for watching and happy cloud computing from all of us here at AWS.